it like doesn't really move, doesn't wobble or anything. So people have been talking about drawing your sword from your back again lately. And uh, there's a video by a guy called Nate V who showed you can do it by just pulling from the opposite shoulder. And then um, Matt Easton from School of Gladiatoria was talking about how it kind of relies on a, on a leather scabbard that's flexible. Um, it also kind of relies on a, a shorter sword. So if I try to do this method, I, I can just do it like barely but I kind of have to be holding the sword like up here. So it's really hard to get that back in there. But if I had a longer sword, this would just not work. And also the way they're putting it on them is they're usually using like a leather like belt and they're just sort of slinging it over them like this. And it's pretty bad because it just sort of flops all over the place. Uh, but I have a different way to do it better in some ways. So, to put this on, you take both ends of the strap uh, around here, and then so the, the right one, the right side, comes around the left end of the scabbard, like so. And the left side of the strap comes around the right side of the scabbard. You pull them both taut. And my paracord's not really long enough, or really it was too long, and then I doubled it over, and now it's not long enough. But then you just bring it under the, like, at the chest, and then you just knot it. I don't know how to do knots, so I'm using, like, a, like I'm tying my shoes, which is not the best knot. But I'm sure one of you smart people would know how to do this better. So the advantages to this are it's very, very secure. Like, you can run with this, uh, it like doesn't really move, doesn't wobble or anything. Um, so it's much better for running around, moving around. You can't really sit with it, or it's much less convenient to sit with than one on your waist or your hips. One thing you can do, if you don't want it directly centered up, is you can just pull it to the side, and it'll just lean to whatever side you want. So that's nice. Um, you can't really draw it from your back. But, we're going to assume you're in a life or death situation. So what you do, is you simply grab the hilt, and you pull the knot undone, and you take it off. <laughs> and it's very quick. It's not as quick as pulling from your waist, because obviously from your waist, from your waist, it's a bit faster. But I mean, it's not very, it's not a very big difference. And, I mean, now you just, you have to drop your scabbard. But if you don't die, you can pick your scabbard back up. So I don't think that's much of a problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, it's pretty practical. There's probably no evidence of anyone doing it historically. But uh, they could have if they wanted. It's a way to put a sword on your back and run around with it and get it out quickly if you need to fight.